Tatsumaki is now in the game. And in my last video, I did a little showcase for it, but I didn't even realize there were some things that I did not go over. And as you can see, my uh, voice is back to normal. If you go back and look at my first video, for some reason I was talking like this, it was crazy. But I was showing you guys how you could use the ability Crushing Pull, which is the only ability that Tatsumaki has. And you can do some type of combo with it if you use Uppercut or Down Slam or any type of M1 finishing combo right after using Crushing Pull. If I turn no dash cooldowns, no cooldowns, and I just spawn a regular dummy and I use regular uppercut and I use crushing pull and I use, use something else random, you can still get some combos off of that. Now this is Saitama's attack variation, so I don't know if it'll change in the future. I'm pretty sure they're gonna do some type of attacks where they use wind for Tatsumaki. Hopefully they do that. Like you literally just stand there with your arms crossed and just start throwing wind attacks at somebody. But the one thing that I did not go over is the fact that Tatsumaki has a wall combo already. Literally just pins him to the wall and keeps pushing him into it and then she just pushes him to the side. Now, I think you could do some type of combo with this as well. So if I do three M1s, then I do crushing pull, and then as soon as they go over, I side dash and do crushing pull. One, two, three, uppercut. We can do some type of combo with that. Now, I did miss the front dash because I suck, but you get the gist. Now, let me see what other combo you can do with it. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are figuring out combos with only one ability on Tatsumaki with the Saitama variation. I don't care. We're trying to figure this out as fast as possible so everybody can enjoy this character for early access as soon as we get our hands on it, which is now. So I'm gonna do three M1s, I'm gonna go back, do a front dash, three M1s into a front dash, and I'm gonna go to the side as soon as they move them over, and I'm gonna do crushing pull, one, two, three, uppercut, Oh my God, how much damage is that? 70%. If we get another ability, we can have a one-shot wall combo for Tatsumaki already, hopefully. Okay, one, two, three, front dash. One, two, three, uppercut. Okay, hold on, this might work. One, two, three, hold on. One, two, three. Okay, wait, that, that's even less. You were at 30, weren't you? Wait a minute, am I tripping? One, two, three, we gotta try this again, y'all. Oh, wait, hold on. They have a noise specifically for Tatsumaki when you get her ultimate. Y'all, we're getting some new content, a lot of new content already. So hold on, we're gonna remove Awakening and we're gonna activate it. A wait, not activate, give. It's like a... Like an Esper noise. It's very specified for Tatsumaki because I'm pretty sure with Garo, it's like a heartbeat. I don't know what it is for all the other characters. I'm not gonna lie. I just play Garo so much that I just hear it sometimes. Yes, call me a Garo one trick. I don't care. I'm not even a one trick. I'll murk all of you. That's a joke. I love you. Okay, so let's try this again. We're gonna spawn a dummy. Oh, spawn. No, we're gonna clear this dummy. Then we're gonna go one, two, three, front dash, right? And then we're gonna let them go to the side. I'm gonna use crushed pull, crushing pull, uppercut. Hold on, hold on, y'all. All right, hold on. Let's try this. Again. We're gonna figure this out. One, two, three, front dash. Come on, bro. You gotta stay in the same spot. Don't be messing me up. One, two, three, front dash. One, two, three, wall combo. They were mad far for that, but it's cool. Okay, move to the right. Crushing pull. One, two, three, uppercut. And we missed. But look, that is still a bunch of damage. Once we get a second ability, just something, I promise y'all, I will have a combo. Some type of either one shot combo or just a high damage combo for Tatsumaki. Now, what else could we do with this? We're gonna see. If if we can break the game with Tatsumaki already. We only have one ability, again, and we only have the wall combo. That's literally all we have. But actually, one thing that we might have is a little animation for when you spawn them in. So let's actually see that. Okay, so it's like, she like walk, what, what, how do I even describe that? She like walks into the, like she just, I don't know. She just spawns in, kind of just like floats down. Do you think her ultimate is gonna be her flying? Bro, if she can fly during her ultimate, it's over. I don't think she'll be able to do that, honestly. There might be like an ability that lets her fly. It's like a passive. It's not even an attack. And you could just fly around for like five seconds or something. That would be dope. Okay, but look, so we're gonna do another combo. Boom, one, two, three, wall combo. Then we're gonna try crush and pull. Yes, sir, one, two, three. Oh yeah. I'm I'm gonna already try to mess people up with combos with Tatsumaki, only with the first ability. But again, let's spawn a dummy here and let's put the attack speed max and the no stun max. Y'all about to see the craziest, y'all about to see the craziest Tatsumaki update in the whole strongest battlegrounds. So now I just gotta find no stun. All right, let's see what this looks like. Hello? Oh my goodness. He doesn't even get slammed when I do it and there's no finisher. Wait a minute, is there a finisher? Hold on, finishers only. Wait a minute, I might have figured something out. Finishers only, please. No. Bro, he gets ragdolled like crazy though. Like that looks disgusting. Look at him. That is disgusting. I think that's really it. Can we do any other wall combos? Hold on, let's see. One, two, three. Oh, oh shoot. I forgot. We are attacking mad fast. We gotta do this quick. One, two, three. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. That was way too fast. Yeah, I don't even know. Oh my whoa. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold on. Tatsumaki's new ability leaked. Oh, I'm going super saiyan right now. 
Just spam it. Just spam it. Okay. 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 We're good. I want to actually try something. If you're on the mountain and you use crushing pull while they're on the edge, what happens? Because it slams them down. So do they just fly straight down afterwards? Okay. So we're going to switch into like Genos or some random character that can get us up there. And we're going to set our spawn point. And then we're going to see what we can really do with this character. I'm going to switch to Deadly Cyborg, aka Trash Can. Are we going to, are we, are we, can we fly up? Thank you. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, I can't do it. Can I, I can't do it, bro. I got it. Hold on. I got to slow this down. Okay. There we go. There we go. All right. So now we are on top and we're just going to set our spawn point just in case. And we're going to spawn a couple dummies because anytime you spawn a dummy up here, once you kill them, they don't spawn to your spawn point. It's only specified for you. Why do I always lose where the freaking dummy thing is? All right, there we go. Spawn a couple of them, right? We're going to make sure they're on the edge as close as we can get them. Probably on this edge right here. We can get them right there. That's good. Yeah, that's perfect. I don't know how you're hanging on by a thread, bro. You're literally just floating. So let's switch to psychic. I almost fell over. Okay, let's see. Crushing pull. Oh my goodness. What the heck is that? Oh, that's freaking Genesis gloves. I already know about that. Okay. So if they don't hit anything, they kind of just float down. Bro, they just float down. That's crazy. Okay, you got to make sure they're really close to the edge too, though. Is there anything else? I don't think there's anything else at all that we can do with this character, though. Like, we can't break it any more than we've already broken it. And that's not even that much. This is not. This is Tatsumaki. This is how Tatsumaki is going to move during her ultimate. And just spamming crush and pull and just killing everybody. Wait, what? It's not even doing any damage. Hello? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I'm hoping she does have some type of finisher when she uses crushing pull but i have no idea what the other abilities are going to be i can actually look at the discord and see if they have any type of hint to what we can do with tatsumaki okay so if you see here blade master free to play and new access character one move right that's the ability we're talking about has wall combo and spawn animation yep we looked at that heavy wip effects in m1s what the heck is wip work in progress oh Oh, I'm stupid. All right, well, I think that's literally everything that we can do with Tatsumaki. We got some combos for him already. So if you want to do a bunch of damage and you already have early access, make sure that you do some type of wall combo. Like I said, three M1s, go to a dash, do a crushing pull, and then do an uppercut. Yes, I can recite that verbally. I'm a nerd. Deal with it. And guys, don't forget, we are still open for the early access giveaway. But this doesn't just go for early access. If you want VIP, kill sounds, anything, it does not matter. All you got to do is put your username down in the comments and you have a chance to to win anything that you want, whether that be early access, VIP, special capes, kill sounds, does not matter. But with that being said, that is Tatsumaki's no character. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click on this video here.